Okay, we're gonna start off with chess today with my boy Ralph. When are you competing? When are you planning competing? September. So he wants to work his chest. I don't know if you guys are looking into it right now, but it, I don't know what his chest looks like underneath this. Looks like he has a, a damn chest. So you're doing something right? You're doing something right. Something's <laughs> doing right there, but we're gonna go over a couple of things and make sure we're really flowing. So we'll start off, I want you to see your range of motion right now. Just kind of let it spread open a bit, right? Naturally. There you go. And pull back. Around. There you go. All the way down. There you go. And try to keep it open. Keep it yeah, open keep it open. That. Yeah. Good. It's yeah. like I have pride in how flexible I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm right? starting to see how much of a huge difference starting yeah. to take, and I just now started to push yeah. it. Second one, I want you to kind of just from here. I'm just gonna pull it. We're gonna pull it down. Okay. Yeah. Now pull it. Yeah. Open up. And let it pull you back up. There you go. So we're getting this. Or this is gonna scap scapula openers, right? So this is gonna open this right up. Let this thing move freely. Right, because we do need to run freely too. You know we're doing chest. We have to warm that muscle up to be able to even do it in the first place. Instead of just jumping on this thing right now and this thing's not even on. That's all I do. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? And you're gonna like, oh my shoulder hurts. Okay, so what part of your chest do we need to work off right away? Let's go super go light. I wanna see you do your first set. And then I'm gonna dissect it. Yeah, okay, go, go, go. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. All right, cool. Alright, so we want I want you to relax now. There you go. Now from here, just like I uh, relax, relax, relax all. See your chest, your right. Yeah. Are you are you are you like this or are you like this? That's the thing I had to learn before. I was like this. Yeah. But I had to learn to. But there you go. Back. So that shouldn't change. A lot of what bodybuilding has is a lot of like good things in terms of like shoulder pressure and good connection. So from here, think of being instead of doing this here. Okay. Instead of doing this and this. This is coming from this way. So let it pull you that way. So get it, grab it, there you go. Now pull it, push it right away, push it up, there you go. Now shoulders down, there you go. From here, from there, there you go. Bend your uh, straight arm, push to me. There you go, shoulder pressure from there. Now let this thing go back down to where it should be going, which is down there. There you go, there you go, that's it. Good. Now while you do that, let it bend a bit from here. There you go, good. Let it open right out. I want you to feel it open from here. There you go. Now squeeze it. There you go. From there. Good. Now let's make sure that it comes back up here. Okay. Right? You want to make this yeah. work? There you go. Aim for it. There you go. Now where you're doing that, I want you to really focus on pushing yourself backwards as well too. So here, push back. There. See that? See this move? Boom. That chest just got really big. That's it. Boom, that's the open right up, stretch it, squeeze it, there you go, stretch, squeeze, stretch, boom, good, good. We're gonna do a little bit of external rotation. Not too much, but just from here, right? So now, if you can watch it, see my arm, now I'm here, now we're not, I'm not trying to go over here, so I'm just trying to do this, but just a little bit, which is gonna help, like, you see my shoulder depress, I'm doing this. So I'm just changing a little bit of the orientation of my shoulder, not necessarily my hand opening doing this, right? So from here. Internal rotation comes from the shoulder, not from the hand. This is supination. The weight's naturally pulling me down, right? So when I'm up, then I should be able to just, from here. Open up. Right? And then my shoulder is back here. Open up, let it stretch. Right, we don't have to go behind here. And squeeze it. Alright. Give me all of your lies. Cause you're my demon in disguise. Squeeze it, squeeze it back. So there you go. Did you get to that top part? There you go. Especially like poses. Like uh, think of like um, you know, lat, back, lat spread, front spread, like most of the time people are trying to, you know do this to get bigger. We want to pull, to get this big, we want to pull this down and pull this up. Right, we're, so same thing here is, where I'm pushing this away, I'm pulling it back. So if I push away and pull it back, my chest is getting more. Just push this out while pushing this away. Right, there you go. Right, now, now how much more do you really have to go into here to make it work? Not you know, much. not at all, yeah. right? Yeah. We already stretched it. The further this thing goes back and stays in place, the more emphasis this is yes, here, yes. Okay. right? And that's what we're trying to do, even when we're pressing. So that, that uh, analogy you always make of push yourself into the ground, that comes from football, it's blocking. Well, blocking is, is here, 
that's how you block. If you, if you block like this, well, you're, f***ing, you're done, right? So we're here, it's the same thing. It's the same thing when you're pressing. You have more power pushing into the ground. <laughs> yeah. In my mind, I was doing it, but I guess the mechanics wasn't there. Yeah. 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 The lats are going to be in every movement you do. They're going to do this. Whether you're doing an overhead press, whether you're squatting, goblet squat, rowing, you're always going to be like this. And, and no, not many times you do this. Yeah. yeah Unless you're yeah. intentionally doing yeah. shrugs. Open up a little bit more. There you go. Good. Stack to the joint. There you go. And then get yourself underneath. Yeah, there you go. Good. Now, good. I want your chest to. There you go. There you go. Now push your butt in the back of this bench here. Engage your core. Push it. There you go. From there, push. Stroll down slow. Open up. Push. There you go. Squeeze it up. Pull it up. Squeeze it up. There you go. Push. Push yourself into the bench. Here, finish. Right. I'm not. Uh, I'm not locking this arm out more so than I'm fully adducting the shoulder in. So I'm pulling this. I'm, I'm pulling it. I'm pulling. We'll keep my chest back. I'm pulling in here. Right. I'm not locking my elbow. It's different. This and this is different. So I'm here. Finish the movement. Right. Push. Push now. You can probably lower this. You're my head. I want you to explode, but I want you to explode with like with control. I want you to think of like a boxer. Boxers aren't throwing haymakers. They're throwing fast ass punches that are un under complete control. The more power and speed you have, the more you can control the actor up. So yeah, speed up, but make sure we get that full right here, right? Speed. Yeah, same negative, yeah. but I'm really pushing. I'm not saying you said it starts to get a little harder. Can if you can't eccentrically load it, you can't concentrically load it. It's impossible. That's why it's really important for you to get your eccentric load, like that part of it, abortion stronger. Yeah. Because for the most part, once you can't, control the weight down there's no way in it going back up right so whenever i'm spotting you see i'm gonna like i'm gonna help you with that so i can let it go so you can control and keep that tempo the entire time so we're gonna try to get we're about 15 reps so we're gonna get 15 total reps okay so however many reps you get with this and then finish off with whatever we have with this yeah One more. Good. my finger come on squeeze it. control it come on watch my hand homie there you go one more squeeze good relax <laughs> break my goddamn finger man first rap smash thanks bro appreciate it so i want you to push so if we're here we're still gonna end up here that's why back in the day everyone's doing this shit Right? From here is naturally where it goes. That's why I always put my finger there. But you're trying to do this and then trying to pull it in. And naturally, your hands will naturally do that if I just. Right? We're doing shoulder adduction and, and elbow extension. What you, what you said makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, if I'm doing, like, say the bench press, I guess my hands are not sliding in. So I'm like, oh, so why would I do that with the dumbbells? So well, see the thing though, when I when I started, when I went back to like really started like really get into my coaching more, yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna go and look at the anatomy and what it's supposed to do. To do, yeah. Like, what is the full range of motion in terms of shoulder adduction? What does that look like? Okay, so 
if I'm doing full range of motion, then that's this, right? If I cut my arm off, it ends up here, right? For full range of motion for this, I have to be here, right? So why is it out here? When you're on a bench, you're here, and you grab it. You're still here. Even if you're out here, right? I'm still locked out, but I can't pull them because you're in a fixed position. Yeah, yeah, but full range of motion is this. They have, they have benches that are dope. Yeah. You go like this, they're yeah. pretty sick. Chest too, your clavicle hand helps with it. That's why people really overactivate their, you know, delts when they're doing incline. Like, oh, my front delts are massive. They're chest. They have this weird little thing like this in here. It's because they're literally doing shoulder press. You can feel your chest working, but you gotta work with the machine. This is pretty light. Now I'm just to get you used to it. Good. I want you to feel nice. Chest, yeah, you go. Let it come back. Elbows come back. And there, there you go. Now pull them back. There you go. There, and then press and squeeze down. Push up away. Right, almost like finish off. And then push this. There you go. Right. See chest. Squeeze. There you go. Good. Stretch even more. There you go. Good. We can even fall into that. Right. We can engage the last entire time. I don't, I don't want your shoulders to come up as much as we can. Much as keep them as much as possible. Try. It. There you go. Really focus on that right here. You're gonna feel it go from here to here. There you go. Easiest goddamn way. Good. Easiest way. Three. It just wants to get it down. It doesn't give a f how it gets down. It's like, get it down. It could be in danger. I don't know. Get away from something. I don't know. Say, get it down. Get it down. Right? You gotta get behind every movement. Right? I'm here. Like, right? Like, even just doing this, this, the weight comes down. I'm not doing, like, through here, out, same position you are. We're same height. Now I'm gonna go like this. I'm sorry yet. Now I can start. Yeah, you can start. Gotcha. Right? And it stays in there. So the entire time, I'm always, I'm engaged the entire time. Right? It doesn't matter how heavy the weight gets, control it. No matter what. Right? I can do this easy. Then I'm down here. Okay? Actually, you know what? Watch this. Good. Come on. Good. Nice, nice, come on, Eight. Good, go, squeeze, good. So every pose you do, wherever you're at, whatever angle you're at, you have to have a V-taper, okay. right? And that's basically from, if I got cut you off like side, so if I went like this and sliced it off here, I'm trying to enhance this part, to go this way, this way, and this way, this way. That makes all of this look smaller. People get their, get their they get their goals mixed up all the time. They get them entangled with, like, you know, do you want to be strong or do you want to look good? Yeah. Right? You, so can, you, can, you can do both, but you have to have a clear understanding of how to do both. But if you just want to look good, then you don't really have to try and be super strong because trying to be super strong involves a different type of training for that. Last even harder. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. Squeeze it up. Good. Put a little emphasis on the pinky pulling in. There you go. Good. That's it. Pull. Come on. Good. Get four. Get four. Get four. Come on. One. Come on. All the way in. Let's go. Two. Good. Three. Come on. Good. One more. One more. Come on. Pull. Good, back slow, control, back control, back control, back good. There you go. <laughs> Man. Body doesn't know exactly where the pictures are at. <laughs> Let me get those shots, he told me. Maybe because they say my pose did hurt me, I, which I agree. I'm crunching it. You, 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 um, you flattened out. 
I did find out. You, like, I don't know what your dieting was, but your dieting looks like you lost muscle. When this gets too hard, we're gonna turn around, we're gonna get over top of the momentum. But from leverage, just from the posture. Good, stay right there. All the blood, there you go. That's it, just think of that, elbow extension, squeeze it out. Good. One. Two. Good. Now keep them down, keep them down. Now turn around and walk this way. There you go. Keep down this way, walk. Face this way. There you go, keep it down. There you go. Now bend there, push it down. There you go. Good, feel the chest move too. Squeeze the bottom of the chest. Oh, that's it, squeeze. Oh, squeeze. Oh. Two. Oh. One more. Good. Oh. All right, now from here, good. I want you to use this. Now push your butt in the back of this. Sit down a little bit. There you go, there you go. Sit from there, there you go, now. That's it. So I want you to think, even though we're, we're, we're still pushing, still a push, I want you to think about pushing yourself in the back of that still. There you go. There you go, squeeze down. Don't bounce it down, we're squeezing it. There you go. Like, because again, the reason why we have this is so we can keep it, so we can do this naturally. But we can make it easier by engaging our. Now we can do. Now we can do this now. Okay. To and to finish it, right? And really like pushing this so it don't let it separate. Boom. Right. So do that next set. We'll gas them out, and then as soon as it gets harder, we'll push them together. Good. Seven. Good. Now push them together. There you go. There you go. There you go. 12, there you go. 13, there you go. Okay, so this is it, man. Really good time with uh, Ralph today. Um, he's the coach here. So if you guys in the area you need a really good coach, find Ralph here at Flex Gym. Not relatively new, because I don't think four years is relatively new. Uh, nah. No. Still got a lot to learn, though. Yeah. I learned a lot today, yeah. like I said, especially like activating and squeezing the chest. Yeah. The proper way. I've been doing it wrong a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. So I definitely, I'm glad that you made the trip over here. I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it again for sure. Like I'm going to plan on maybe doing this like a regular thing every once in a while. Got it. Let me know. Yeah, <laughs> I will. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I definitely will. Well, man, it's been a pleasure, brother. Pleasure, brother. Good to see you. Please we'll do this you. again. Stay in touch. 100% stay in touch.